You've tuned in to another episode of 420 Grams on newsclick.in and today joining us via Skype is the man who was recently the head coach of the India Under-23 side that played in the AFC Under-23 qualifiers. Mr. Derek Pereira, currently Technical Director of FC Goa. Sir, thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for joining us in the middle of the Hero Super Cup. Uh, I'm not going to talk about ISL but talk about that recent assignment even though it was only two games old. Five goals conceded, two games lost. So the papers, of course, tells you something. But as a coach, sir, what are your key takeaways from that? You're not keeping in mind the end result. Yeah. Uh, hi, Ajwin. Thanks for having me on the show. Um, first of all, uh, yeah, when I was asked to take, take up this assignment, uh, I was uh, clearly told about the challenges, about the hurdles um, uh, to build up this team. Uh, first of all, I would say that uh, in in short time, I had to select the team, and uh, and find a and find a playing the best playing eleven in in just few sessions. Uh, before going to for the tournament, we had a practice uh, friendly against uh, Qatar, which was a, a, a excellent uh, plan for uh, you know to see how what is our strength before going in the for the tournament. So the. The challenges ahead were um, like players, uh, the, the whole squad getting into the, uh, I mean, getting them together because they were playing uh, ISL, ISL matches and uh, the I League matches going on in, during that during that time. So we just got two two sessions before the Qatar match uh, with uh, four of our main players uh, missing out on that. That is Nawaz, uh, Anirudh Thapa. Nishu and uh, Bora. So we went in with a young side, uh, which was the average age was 20. Uh, most of the players were from the Indian Arrows uh, side uh, who played the uh, Under-17 World Cup. Uh, it was, it was for me, it was a very interesting one. Um, get, getting this uh, assignment was uh, like, play, for me, it was for the first time uh, uh, training a national side. I've been always associated with clubs. Uh, I was a little uh, anxious to know how to go about it, but uh, with the support staff and uh, and the players' response was excellent. You know, so when we went to Qatar, we had some good sessions, and uh, before before the match match, I was a bit anxious to know like you know how the players would respond. But as the match uh, started and it progressed, uh, they started believing in themselves. We put up a good show, good performance. Um, the best part was like we we worked on a style to keep the ball, uh, which is which, which is in modern football the trend to keep the ball and to press high. So we were working on those lines, and the players responded very well. In the Qatar match, I would say <clears throat> uh, we created more chances uh, than than the opponents because we defended well and we were very good on the counters. Uh, we were trying, we were keeping the ball. Uh, well, with us and trying to create opportunities, which we did to a certain extent. Uh, it was a good match, but unfortunately, due to our own mistake, uh, we conceded a goal. Uh, from there on, we came back. We had to release the players uh, for the finals of ISL and uh, some uh, qualifying round of the Super Cup. So we had to release the players uh, again. Then we assembled just one. Uh, the whole squad assembled just one day before we could travel to Uzbekistan. Uh, we arrived in Uzbekistan just 24 hours before the match, and um, you know we could see that uh, it took a it took the toll on the players. The traveling part, 24 hours travel from here to Uzbekistan, and then play the very next day against a tough opponents like Uzbekistan, who are the champions of Asia. Um, I, I think considering all this. Challenges. I think the performance-wise, we performed well. Uh, we could have done better result-wise if we had to convert the chances what we created and uh, avoided the mistakes what we made, which we considered goals. You know, out of the five, three, we, uh, three goals which we considered were uh, out of our own mistakes. Uh, I believe that if we keep these boys, these young, talented boys, who in short time, if they could do, do so much, I think in the long run, they'll definitely be uh, the India. I mean, the Indian national team have a, a bright future. So uh, my my point I was trying to make in the beginning was not to say that it was a bad performance. I was trying to say that on paper, five goals conceded, two games lost. But I'm sure because I saw both those games, I was tuning in as well, and I saw. It was so much, it was so good to see these boys playing. 
and the first thought that really came to my mind is that our reserve, reserve for the national team, is in good hands. You know, and the style of play that you were talking about, sir, it was so refreshing to see the boys keep the ball, especially the Arrows boys, the young boys who are 18, 19 years old right now. And someone like an Anwar Ali, sir, I was, I mean, what, what are your thoughts on this? You said possession based game. Was that something you've taken away from your time at FC Goa as well? Because that's what we've seen them playing in the ISL over the last couple of seasons. Uh, yes, Arjun. Uh, we, we as Goans, we have always follow, followed a, a Brazilian style of football to keep the ball and play. And when uh, FC Goa, when Lobera came in with the Spanish style, I think it was more or less on the similar line. So we have always been, that's my belief, that if we can keep the ball, we can create opportunities up front and, you know, and defend well. It, it, I, I always believe in this saying, it is, it's an old saying that uh, attack is the best form of defense. So if you have the ball with you and you keep the ball around with you, you defend less. So uh, that's what I, uh, we be, uh, I believe in. And uh, yes, uh, coming to young players like Anwar and Sahal and, uh, and uh, Changte was excellent. Uh, there were some interesting other players who, like young players like Komal and uh, KP. I think they have got a bright future ahead. And if we keep playing opponents like this, like with, where there is a lot of intensity and you have to make your decisions, you know, in that tight situations, they keep improving those uh, decision making, you know. And um, and there is there is, I mean, if we keep doing this, if we keep playing against these tough tougher opponents. Uh, uh, on a on a regular basis, I think uh, we have a we, we we can develop as a footballing nation. Exactly, sir. Uh, do correct me if I'm wrong. From whatever my assessment was, like say uh, when you saw a certain Vineet Rai, when he plays in the ISL, he has about three seconds more time to make his pass. But that same Absolutely. Vineet Rai was not getting those three four seconds, and so the you Absolutely. know the decision had to be made so much quicker. And even though it might right. not have worked out in those 90 90 minute games, I'm sure he's going to become a better player moving forward. Absolutely, absolutely, Arjun. Uh, that's what my belief is also. Uh, the more uh, like a player like Sahal, who is technically a very good player among us from our, uh, you know, from this lot, uh, he kept on improving match by match. Match from Qatar, what do I saw him in the first match? <clears throat> he played about 66, 65 minutes, and then he went on to play against Uzbekistan. And then against uh, Tajikistan, he was like you know every match he improved his decision making, his, his confidence level. You know, they started believing in themselves. What we need to do, like, I mean, we, we have to be, uh, we have to improve our, the pace of the ball, the movement of the ball a little quicker, keep the composure on the ball. And, after, you know, the most important thing is that finishing. We need that finishing. And once we start doing that, you know, the boys will uh, have, you know, will start believing and will we'll be more confident to play at that level. So, I'm glad you brought up uh, finishing. Because I wanted to ask you, do you think while the midfield, the defence, goalkeeping, everything looks very sorted as far as the reserve line for the Indian national team, you suppose there is a paucity of Indian strikers who can play that single striker role that you were adopting in Uzbekistan? Uh, there are some interesting players. Uh, Arjun, uh, uh, Daniel had that experience being with the, you know, with the earlier teams, uh, with the national team coach uh, and uh, I went in for more experience in this uh, in, uh, in this short time I could only uh, you know play those experienced players but I, if I had a longer time I would have given opportunity to players like Danu and uh, Rahim Ali who did so well he worked very hard against Tajikistan Rahim Ali he you know he, the more he plays I like I, I kept saying this uh, the more he, uh, players play they'll start you know getting better they'll start keeping composure on the ball and they'll know how to finish like for me uh, in the AFC Champions Cup uh, Anirudh's finish was the best finish uh, in this whole tournament a cool calm finish between the, you know against uh, uh, Thailand so if he keeps playing like that uh, Anirudh Thapa Danu and Rahim Ali uh, these are the players who have the, got the potential but we have to expose them to that uh, high level of football so you brought up uh, Rohit Danu and I was seeing the game versus uh, Indian Arrows versus Goa in the Super Cup and uh, even though that boy is barely 17 years old, sir, but you see the way he moves, his touch, his everything tells you of an out-and-out striker, which is not seen too many in too many Indian players. 
Right, Arjun. Yes. Uh, I mean, uh, he's young. He's very young. Uh, he's got a long way to go, and um, you know, he, he's technically good. He can get better. He'll. Uh, he'll. Um, I mean, he's very confident. The most important thing is that he's very confident at this age. Uh, you know, he shows a lot of confidence in himself. He believe the belief in him he has is uh, like he keeps working hard. <clears throat> it's not just because to make numbers he was there in the team, but because of his uh, talent he he, he was there. And uh, if uh, if we have a like you know he'll get at least he has seen the level of football there. In the future, even he go gets into the pitch, uh, I'm sure he will do well. Sir, you you spoke about style of play, and you said you like the possession based style of play. Uh, the style of play we've been talking about this in circles that follow indian football that what is the right style of play for the indian national side you suppose possession based football keeping the ball is our style of play and if if that is it sir how long will it take us to honestly execute it in international level games uh arjun uh, see we can play for results if you want results we can play for results uh, and you can play to develop indian football you know if you play for results you have to change your style of uh, play if you, if it is if you want to develop football in the long run <clears throat> we have to learn to keep the ball with us first you know once you start doing that then players will start developing they'll start making the decision they'll know when to you know uh, where to move the ball when to where to position themselves so these are the things what we need to improve on uh, so <clears throat> once we start believing in that like like you know this is the way we have to go forward for for example i'll tell you uh, you will see a lot of players in indian football uh, uh, players and coaches in indian football and uh, in world football or world uh, or european leagues you'll see most of the players are coming out from spanish uh, uh, spanish players are coming out i mean they are the ones who are dominating world football why is because they their the style of play is to develop footballers they uh, <clears throat> they are developing footballers footballers as well as coaches you know so we have to follow a style which will help us to develop over the years it is a long process it's a long process uh, we can't just overnight ch uh, change our style change our thing we will like the boys we in, during these two matches we made some mistakes they'll stop you know they'll uh, they'll learn from their mistakes in the long run they'll learn from their mistakes when to keep the ball where to keep the ball and uh, <clears throat> and in the bargain you know they will start uh, getting confidence to keep the ball under pressure in tight situations make the right decisions you know with their first touch where to take the ball uh what they need to do with their first touch whether to run with the ball or tie have a tight touch you know these are the decision making what will improve if, if we start keeping the ball and you know play uh, under those circumstances so finally uh, we're going to end the interview uh, just want to ask you what are your future plans are we going to be seeing you back again on national duty or do you now stay put with fc goa what is the plan ahead uh i have uh, i would love to be part of the national uh, setup to you know develop indian football i have always been thinking about developing indian football uh, <clears throat> wherever i have been at the club level i have always tried to encourage uh, youngsters you know and uh, always uh, my uh, i have been always talking a uh, same language of you know playing at the highest level uh and for me highest level is playing against top countries like uh, you know at least in asia it is uh, japan and south korea australia these are the teams which we have to uh, we have to start competing with so uh, i would love to be at the thing but i have started a, a, a program here at fc goa uh, so i would i would i mean at the moment i am focusing more on uh, on uh, the project here so i'm sorry mere andar na wo thoda journalist ka keeda hai so i just need to probe you for one more thing no, no nothing discussion with aiff on any future plans any uh, anything way forward because i know this was one assignment but beyond this assignment now there's no discussion whatsoever uh, no no nothing is so none, yeah none whatsoever so wo try karna tha aapne nahi bola that's okay <laughs> derek sir thank you so much for your time sir it was lovely uh, chatting with you That's it on this episode of 420 Grams. We hope you enjoyed watching it. Remember your one-stop shop for everything Indian football. Once a week, we are going to put out one video talking about Indian football. Thank you so much for watching. Good bye.